good to be here today. Praise the Lord this morning. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to turn our Bibles open to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, I think. <laughs> Praise you, Lord. Well, we're glad to have you tuned in today. And glad to be here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's another day the Lord has made. And this is a special day, of course. Praise God. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Father, for the mighty word of God. Bless everyone that's here. Those that's out by radio, by television, bless them. Thank you, Father, for dropping in the word that they need today. And I thank you personally for the witness and power of the Holy Spirit to witness about Jesus. Can't do it without him, Lord. And we just give you praise today. May you be lifted up and glorified. Praise God. Receive glory, Lord. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the precious word. Again, I thank you for meeting every need in the body. Just words today, Lord, that be so encouraging to people. Thank you for it. May we be able to receive utterance today so we can be that real witness in Jesus name praise God everybody said amen now receive the word today don't you I received the word remember the other day a few days ago I guess it was we talked about people receiving the word in much affliction sometimes that may be you but nevertheless you have to receive the word Praise God. But they, I believe it was at the church of the Thessalonian church, received the word in much affliction. And it said that it worked effectually in those that believed. <laughs> Had a good effect. It worked. Will God still endeavoring to get the word out? Still endeavoring to get it to us. Praise God. The word of God. So important to us. So vital. It's probably the most important thing in this life. Is God's word. And you remember that Paul told Timothy, he said, preach the word. Be instant. In season, out of season, preach the word. <laughs> I think that's good this morning. And he said in season, out of season, that means when it seems like it's, you know, it's, you know, there's better times than others about preaching the word. I'll just have to say. These times that you could preach when, praise God, and it was, you know, it wouldn't matter what was going on. And in these times, it's hard to preach. You know, seems like nobody don't want it. Well, he said, just preach the word. <laughs> Amen. Well, these people want it. How many knows that? Yeah. Praise God. Because I'll tell you something. Jesus, the Bible says, is the word. We wouldn't have no word without him. And you know... Uh, Like Brenda was talking about earlier, the Lord went through a lot of things. And people say they murdered him, but you know what? That's really not true. They were the cause of his death. But the Bible says, you, you need to know this, the Bible says he gave his life. Really? He gave it. Now, they didn't kill him. They didn't murder him. He gave it. Because, see, you have to know something about Jesus. At any time, he said, 
I can call for 12 legions of angels. They can come down here and they take care of business, friend. And I think that is so good. Amen. So he gave his life. Yeah, they beat him. He had to go through that. But he gave it. You know, there was other times that he, he was going, and, and man, he'd do things, praise God, and they'd get so mad they wanted to kill him then, but they couldn't because it wasn't time. They was going to grab him one day and take him and throw him over the cliff, brow of the city. So we'll show you. Pure preaching this stuff, doing these things, acting like it's God. <laughs> and he just passed through the midst of them. Well, amen. I said, that's Jesus. Now, amen. 